Hello dear students. Uh, today the topic of our lesson is a boy's best friend part 1. Uh, this video includes about the story, about the author, the theme, the summary of the lesson. Uh, today's learning objectives at the end of the lesson the students will be able to know about the author know about science fiction learn about the plot setting and characters of the story now about the author the author of this story Isaac Asimov was a russian born american biochemist Asimov's writing career began in 1939. Uh, he was the most prolific uh, writer of science fiction and by the end of his life he had written or edited 500 volumes. Uh, these included a history of North America, four volumes, a two volume guide uh, to the Bible, encyclopedia, uh, textbooks, biographical dictionary and many other books on science. His major output was in the field of science fiction. The short story here is about robots. Uh, whenever we talk about science fiction, the question arises in one's mind as to what science fiction is. Uh, science fiction is a genre of fiction in which the stories often tell about science and technology of the future. It is important to note that science fiction has a relationship with the principles of science. Uh, these stories involve partially true, partially fictitious laws and theories of science. The question arises in one's mind, is there any possibility for humans to live on moon? Uh, the answer to this question needs your research of the scientists uh, who have done a lot of work on uh, this topic, don't guess but find the truth. Uh, a lot of information can be searched on Google about this possibility. Uh, now I am telling you a few words about this story, uh, especially a plot and a setting and characters. It is a science fiction story about a boy and his robot dog. Uh, this story shows the relationship and the friendship of humans with the robots and artificial intelligence in the time to come. Uh, the plot of the story is uh, quite simple. Uh, there is a family of Jimmy, Jimmy who is the main character. Jimmy's family is settled on the moon. Uh, since Jimmy was born on the moon, he is greatly accustomed to life and dangers there. A robot, which is the name of that robot dog, uh, was Jimmy's companion. One day his father decided to bring a real dog from the earth. The name of the real dog was Scotch Terrier. Now about its uh, setting, uh, this story takes place on the moon, not on the earth. Uh, the characters are only four. Mr. Anderson, Jimmy's father, Mrs. Anderson, Jimmy's mother, Jimmy, uh, a 10 years old boy, their son, a robot, the machine dog, the robot dog, Jimmy's only friend on the moon. Uh, what will you have in the story? I am going to give you a brief summary of this uh, lesson, this story. Uh, the story begins with the conversation between Mr. and Mrs. Anderson about a 10-year-old boy whose name was Jimmy. Jimmy was their son. He was a moon-born boy. Physically, he was thin but rather tall for his age. Uh, Jimmy looked stubbier and thicker in his space suit. Uh, he was able to handle the lunar gravity as no earth-born human being uh, could do so. Uh, he had a pet robot named Robert with whom he used to play a lot. His father wanted him to have a real dog from earth. 
the dog was a scotch terrier and was going through tests in the rocket station but jimmy didn't want to leave his own robot his father was trying to convince him but he denied so robert started to give fast squeaks which meant he was happy Uh, now I am telling you a few words about the theme of the story. Uh, the story's theme is both about uh, technology's usefulness and dangers. Uh, Jimmy's great attachment to uh, his uh, robotic dog shows the total human dependence on mechanical uh, friendship in future. Uh, human beings are going to live in the time of the rise of machine. Uh, the time may come when leaving this planet becomes necessary for the survival of human beings. And uh, to decrease the risk of human lives, robots can be used to explore the feasibility of lunar settlement. And now I am giving you an assignment uh, that is write an essay on any one of the following topics. Uh, what would it be like to live on the moon? Uh, life on the moon. Can we survive on the moon? Now you will have to write on uh, one of these topics. Use your mind, uh, create your own essay. Thank you. Uh, dear students, in the next lesson, uh, there would be reading and words meanings. Thank you very much. Goodbye.